Hey gang, welcome back to RV Wagon Tales. On this episode, we have left River Run and have met up with our friends in Silverthorn. Now we're on I-70 heading out to Rudai. Join us. Hey, thanks for hanging around. So here we are on Interstate 70 westbound, heading through Glenwood Canyon. Now, this is one of my favorite parts of this drive. Uh, going through the canyon is just amazing. I love the way the interstates are stacked on top of each other, uh, I guess to accommodate the narrowing of the canyon at parts of it. On the left side, on at least when you're going westbound, you see the Colorado River, and oftentimes you can see uh, many raptors going down the river. and. I don't know I'd call it a leisurely ride, but it sure looks like a fun one. And then, of course, we've got the two tunnels we go through, and if you happen to have a horn, like a train horn, it's fun to blow it in those, in those uh, tunnels. And after making our way through Glenwood Springs, we get to our destination town of Basalt, Colorado. And here, if you're driving a big rig, uh, just be careful as you're going through the narrow streets. Oftentimes during business hours, you will see semis. Uh, there may be some delivery trucks uh, parked in the center uh, of the streets and you have a very narrow road to get through. Anyway, be careful as you're going through the town. And finally, we get onto Frying Pan River Road. And uh, this long drive takes us to our destination of Deerhammer Campground where we will be staying at Rudai Reservoir. Hey, we're here at Rudai Reservoir. My daughter, Brittany, she's hey. in from New York City. She's here, she's gonna help me do some recording. Uh, fly fishing. So wish me luck and we'll talk to you soon. Good luck, Dad. Thanks, sweetie. for three minutes and 12 seconds and we've already got a fish. A little one. He's a little one. You gotta go back. All right. Be still. Be still. There we go. So moments after catching my first rainbow trout, my sister joins us and she has brought my old rod and reel. And I had some, I had some uh, lures that were supposed to be good for rainbow trout or trout in general. So I loaned it to her and she uh, tried fishing and she had no luck. She said though, however, she was getting bites but never caught anything. Later on, she borrows my brother's fly rod and she caught, I think, around a dozen, catching more in just a matter of hours than it than I did all weekend. 
So uh, we'll call that one beginner's luck. beautiful outside the river is flowing and we are fishing well I'm not I didn't get my fishing license but dad's fishing Dina's fishing the whole crew's fishing we are having a great time how was it going dad how's it going out there well not strike I had a couple strikes but nothing uh well I had a two more strikes double change when I was suggested Ooh. by some local experts, uh, I think these are called San Juan worms. We're gonna give that a try. How's uh, Dina doing? She seems to be enjoying it. She's out there in the water, got her feet in, I went in. <laughs> it's real nice. Good. Did she get any luck? Not yet. Christina doing some pretend fishing before she became an interviewer. David Hoffman, what's the secret to fly fishing? Dina, where's Dina? Dina, how was your day at fly fishing? I love it. I love, it. I love fly fishing. You do? Yes. Whose rod did you use? <laughs> Damon's rod. Damon! I heard that he liked fly fishing. Used to, that is. <laughs> Damon! Can you give me the secret to fly fishing? Well, some say it's luck, but I call it a lot of luck. Yeah? I heard that someone was using your rod today. And I'm still trying to figure out how they got it out of one island. Yeah.
Oh my god, you guys are scrounges. You can't save anybody anything? They're trying to, they're trying to attract eat. the bears. By the I want a hot dog. So who's got a hot dog? Share with me. I'll share a hot dog with no, you. No, who's got the hot dog? I want one. You want, you, gonna make her look, at, look at Tina. She's like, she's they're elbowing you out. You know, there's, they don't, they're not even thinking of anybody else. Let me just make my own hot dog. Yeah, well, I'm going to keep that in mind when you come over for breakfast next time. <laughs> you're glamping in the glamper. I am. Where'd you get all the firewood? Your, your, uh, your soup is uh, spilling over. I know. Oh, yeah. It's filled to the yeah. It's I'm definitely going to keep that in mind. It needs to down a little bit. The, uh, well, okay. Well, it was spewing out. Yeah. It, it is. is. Yeah. Well, that makes for a better effect on your uh, Oh, yeah. yeah. On your GoPro. Right. Yes, it does. Yeah, but I mean. Hey, what y'all doing? What are we going to need to do with that? Like, I will have to take it out. No, 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 no. Don't. I, just, I, did you, I will. You don't throw have the rest to. Of the wood in. You okay, Brett? Yeah, it's super. Oh, she, I needed that nap. Like, holy cow, did I need that nap. Old Hammer. Bardstown Bourbon Company. Fusion Series. Top of the line cups. Well, Ron and I found out last year we both enjoyed some bourbon. So this year, I got a bottle from a seminar I went to, which is this one. I said I'm gonna save that for a special event. That's this, this weekend. And then in Southern Indiana or Indiana, um, at the local store, uh, this is made in Indiana. It's called Old Hammer. And this one here is for racing fans everywhere. This one's specifically for the Indianapolis 500. Okay, all right. I used to care about that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, all right, so really I did bring you some water just in case you wanted some. Okay. I thought it was fun last year because I think you were over here. Yeah. That campsite. Yeah. And you said, hey, come on over here. You know, let's have a drink. <laughs> and it's like, okay, sure. <laughs> and uh, I forget what it was. Do you remember what? what 10th what? Mountain Division. 10th Mountain Division. Okay. Bourbon. Yeah. Well, like I said, this one here, uh, the bottle's kind of cool. I won this, and it's the Bardstown Bourbon Company Fusion Series. So it's a blend of some sorts. So when I bought, or when I won that, it's like, okay, this is coming out here to Colorado. Nice. Yeah. There we go. All right. And oh, pressure <laughs> from from Louisville to, uh, to yeah, here. probably a little yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> we had some uh, cans and bags of chips popped. Really? All right. Do you want ice? Sure. Okay. Just the plastic so you can kind of flex the cup, squeeze it in. There you go. All right. You tell me when. And there's some water if you want to add a little water to it. Okay. Yeah, good? Good. All yeah. right. Looks nice. Nice color. And I'll do the same. Yeah, I was looking forward to this. It's like, well, I know you were. <laughs> it's like, I've, I've, I even posted it in our little club. And, you know. Well, you put it on Facebook. Or yeah. Something because Beck was like, Dave's got a present for you. <laughs> I'm like, nice. Yeah. So anyway, and then this, you know, it's made in Indiana, which I, I thought all bourbons like had to come from Kentucky, but yeah. Uh, but this one here, there's like there's an old hammer, like version one, version two, version three, and um, I've tried them all and they're really good. And then when I saw this one, oh, they got it back out. But it was for the, the, um, I guess the Indy 500. Oh, cool. Yeah. So racing fans everywhere and I saw that. So I told Tina to pick the bottle up for me and Nice. She did, yeah. All right. Well. All right. Cheers, cheers for another year. So we're it's our last night at Rudai Reservoir. We are going to go hook up with some friends, go see sit down with them, spend some time this evening. Introduce them to the pups again. Officially. Hey Denver, Annie. You got the little happy camper shirts on so next stop is Denise Devine's campsite
running my old friend Jeff. Let me say Jeffrey. Hello, sir. How you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, you filming? Well, is, they call it filming, but is it really filming anymore? <laughs> well, well, tank wants a little sip there. Ah, uh, you don't want this tank. <laughs> and I, I almost, I was almost gonna say, are you like, uh, what's, what was in the movie? Um, oh man, remember the guy that came out of the guy's chest, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Um, oh, good grief. You mean Alien? No, not Alien. With Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's on Mars. Right. What was that movie? Oh, name? and um, Quato. Yeah, the guy yeah. that had the the other had the little head coming out of his right. chest. Quato. Yeah. Will you throw this away for me, son? Here. That's Thanks. pathetic. <laughs> what do you mean? He looks pretty comfortable, doesn't he? Yeah. He's a good puppy. Tank is a killer animal. If he wasn't tied mm -hmm. up right now, he could take your arm off. Yep. Yeah. I know my dogs. They um. They can take a hangnail off. Yeah. <laughs> Are you coming down? Yeah. Uh huh. So, well, here's the gang. Nice fire. Oh, yeah. I am. And I've, I've also, over the last couple of months, and I've never been a red wine drinker. Just over the last couple of months, I've really wanted to get red wine. Really? I don't drink the Take a picture. 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 Take a you can say whatever you want, it's all going to be edited out. <laughs> okay, good. I was going to say. Tell him to us. And in 8-5, boy and a girl. Wait. Very nice. Yeah, it's going to be kind of like a trip like you guys. Where we got to drive out there, stop the play. Go somewhere else. Yeah, we had a party of not quite six feet apart. Yeah, they did it. 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 They did it.
but the sunset here where the where the uh, the river runs into the lake or the reservoir and here's what we got how beautiful is that so from Denver Annie Tina and myself thank you for first of all we thank you for watching we hope you will subscribe ring the bell and like so for the RV Wagon Tales gang, yeah, we hope you uh, enjoy.